bravely for the divine light. Glorious victory. Well, victory is deserved. for the divine light.
I burn everything down? Oh well.
Well, victory is deserved. me. Every sword is a witness. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved.
I am Entendre, an exile. Well, victory is deserved. Every sword is a witness. Corin, your your arms. I'm fine. Are you all right? But you can't move your arms. I'm not surprised. My arms were already approaching their limit. Making it this far has exceeded my expectations. Be proud of your work, young man. Corin's arms are... are... Pro prosthetics I made for him. It's either life or death on the battlefield. I'm lucky enough to have lived, and losing my arms didn't prevent me from joining the army. After retiring, I encountered Damien, who is out collecting materials. Your vine arms are one of my greatest creations. The best, of course. Don't worry, Corin. I will make you a new pair of arms when I find the right materials. Rosewood, yew wood, built-in gunpowder, switchblade, you name it, and I will make five pairs, no, ten pairs for you, because you saved my life. I can't thank you enough. I'll find a way to repay you. Ah, are the Thorn Guards gone yet? I had the mechanical rovers swerve onto another side road, making a noise to distract them. Why distract the Thorn Guards searching for you? For me? They looked really angry and scary. Even I could see trouble when it's running towards me like that. So I kept running, thinking no one would dare to come here. Then I got lost. Could it be? But that's impossible. The Thorn Guards have attacked and expelled the refugees. But Damien is a wilder. Unless... Mm. 
I don't want to admit that my fellow Wilders have fallen so far. But now, it seems to be so. Whatever the truth is, the Thorn Guards can exploit Damien's disappearance as an excuse to blame the Outsiders. Damien and Lyca both live close to Lunadorf, which serves as the headquarters for the Dusk Patrollers. Most villagers there also advocate for open communication with outsiders. If innocent children like Damien suffer such harm, it would be difficult for the Dusk faction to uphold their belief. We all know Captain Parissa, leader of the Thorn Guards. She is an excellent mage, always meticulous and responsible. A decent person like her would not suddenly turn around and give such cruel orders. You mean, Parissa? Has she really changed? I haven't seen her in a long time since I've been busy investigating and cleansing the corruption. The flower has a strange color. Her magic is indeed outstanding. Just as Lawson described. Just admit it. The mage I brought back is more powerful than any you've seen in your years of traveling. I've only been out in the world for a few years, so of course I haven't seen it all. How can I measure up to her? The magic she wields is indeed extraordinary. Allow me to interpret for him. What he meant was, Oh, wow, you're amazing! He's not good at giving compliments. You'll get used to it. <sighs> you're the talkative one. Shall we head to Lunadorf? We should introduce you to Granny Dani. She would be pleased to know someone is able to destroy the corrupted roots. With her on our side, Master Eamir might lift the exclusion edict. Mr. Corrin can also have a good rest in the village. Will they welcome me? Of course. Villagers of Lunadorf are very nice to outsiders. Plus, you are my rescuer. Perhaps I can even find materials over there to make your new arms. Everyone, follow me, please. Well, victory is deserved. A bit of luck.
You're back. I'm so glad to see Damien all safe and sound. Look who's here. Isn't that Lorson? How long has it been? Two years? Three? We've missed you. It's been quite long. Shani, do you know where Granny Dani is? We would like to introduce her to a new friend. New friend? You're a light bearer. Mage. Oh, I know. You're like the wind whisperers. Who can do all sorts of incredible things. No outsiders are allowed into the forest at this point. Given that you're a friend of Lycar and Aeron, you must be a big deal. Oh, right. You're here for Master Dani. <sighs> Unfortunately, she's out of town. First the Thorn Guards, then the Lightbearer Guards. Master Dani must be quite distressed too. Well, in that case, we'll have to wait until she comes back. Corin's arms cannot wait. You guys handle the arguing part. I'm going to figure out how to make new prosthetic arms for Corin. Do you mind waiting a bit? You could use this chance to wander around Lunadorf. Don't worry, people are friendly to travelers from afar. Mr. Corrin could use this as an opportunity to get some rest. Good question. Curiosity is the first step towards inspiration. And then comes the second step. Practice. Hurry, come with me. I've come up with new ideas for the arms. Let's go to the Wise Herb Garden. I want to show you how clever we Wilders can be.
Hey, if this isn't Damien. Here to find materials again. Many patrollers were sent out earlier to look for you. Where have you been? I accidentally ended up at the very depths of the labyrinth. No, Biggie. I'm back in one piece. Uncle Diane, are there quick vines in the garden? I need them for my new masterpiece. Certainly. They're in the southwest corner. Water them the way you used to. But hey, try not to use those weird potions for watering again. Last time, things were multiplying like crazy. Don't worry. I promise I won't this time. Thank you, Uncle Diane. I will go get some quick vines now. Let's go with this look for the new prosthetics. Incredible. Even with such basic materials, they take form simply through cutting and carving. Yep. I've done it over a hundred times while working on the prototype. Besides, look! I handcrafted this crafting table and the wood carvings of the deer spirit behind the house. They're all random creations from my fun experiments. I... Never thought I'd see such exquisite craftsmanship in the Dark Forest. Corin, this is nothing compared to what you did for me. There's more impressive stuff coming up. The processing part is done up to this point. The next steps are a bit tricky, and we'll need to gather some more materials. Finally! There you are! Master Dani has just returned and is waiting for you at the Sage's Court. Aaron and Laika have already headed there. Granny's back so soon. I need to finish working on these prosthetic arms. Why don't you go meet her first? I'm not interested in those complicated and dull grown-up matters. They mess with my creative thinking. Granny, those Lightbearer mercenaries seem to be intentionally stirring up conflict between the Dark Forest and the Lightbearer Empire. The Thorn Guards are acting strangely as well. They sought to intensify the conflict, going as far as chasing Damien into the labyrinth. On top of everything, they tried to frame the disappearance of Damien on the Lightbearer refugees. If we hadn't arrived in time, the consequences would have been dire. While the Thorn Guards are traditionally conservative, why have they suddenly become so extreme? Must be Eomir's idea. After hearing the Thorn Guards' report at the Sages meeting, his stance was very firm. Believing the Outsiders had brought corruption to the forest, he implemented the Exclusion Edict. The Thorn Guards were all for his decision. However, Arden and I thought he was too quick to decide, and that's where the disagreement started. Granny Dani. Did you end up arguing with Master Emir? Argue? I was merciful enough not to turn the meeting into an all-out verbal war. In short, the meeting ended on a sour note. Since then, Emir has been avoiding me. Arden went off to explore the Verduso Mountains, with only occasional updates trickling in. Then I guess it's impossible for you to step in and ask Master Yomir to revoke the order. Me? I wouldn't have waited this long if that old man was willing to see me. Listen, even the three sages need to weigh and contemplate matters before deciding. Wisdom comes only when we free ourselves from blindly following old beliefs. Oh dear. Come forward. Let me take a closer look at you. Are you the mage who can cleanse the corruption? I left Lunadorf earlier because a new corruption site was discovered nearby. I have to monitor it regularly, just to be safe. What? The corruption has spread near the village? 
That's no good. The village will be in serious trouble if the corruption seeps into Lunos Lake. The little troublemaker has finally grown into a responsible young man. Lyca can stop worrying about you now. Cranny? <laughs> oh, to be young again. I'll entrust you youngsters with the task of clearing up the corruption around Lunadorf then. Ryan, you stay here. Keep sending Arden messages through the wind. Make sure he responds within the day. Yes, Master Donnie.